Hi everyone, it's March 7th, 2023, and I'm here in Northeast Florida by the marshes and love it here, even though there's cars going uh, constantly, pretty much on this beautiful road, but I'm trusting this is where I need to be. And when I asked a fish just jumped out of the water here, <laughs> I'll take that as a sign among getting that message. So today I want to pray for you. I want to pray with my whole heart to help you in your life and to ask you to join me. We are in these times now where we need to connect with God. God is the only way through these times. Only God can save us through such evil that is being exposed in ways that we are beyond our imaginations. It's always been there for eons of time, but it's all being illuminated. We're in biblical times. We are meant to be here. We are meant to see this, acknowledge it, transmute it. We are meant to create our new earth from this, but we first are working through recognizing truths, having the awarenesses, spreading awareness, taking action where we feel guided to, and one of them is huge in that it is of prayer. We're going to see a whole lot more of people praying, praying together, praying for ourselves, for each other, for our world, and miracles are on the rise just as archangel michael kept saying synchronicities on the rise miracles on the miracles are on the rise because they are and a lot of it has to do with us connecting with god claiming our divine authority which we're going to talk about and being vessels for god to help bring miracles into the world. Jesus said, these things you will do and more. We are in these times now. It is happening now. And I hope this inspires you to up your prayer life as it has for me. I haven't prayed nearly so much in my whole life as I have in recent years. And I hope you're feeling it too. Um, Know that God, know that God can do anything. God is what is gonna save our world. So, so may we allow God to work through us. And one of the ways is through prayer. Archangel Michael taught us about the new sun the sun beyond the sun that we know. It's not really new, it's new to us, most of us, the galactic sun. And from there, our evolution is happening. It's been happening. It'll continue to happen with much more solar activity to the point of solar flares where it will bring in our evolution and the darkness will no longer be able to remain on this planet. Just all these things that we're so concerned about with the poisons in our air, water, food, land, animals, and humans, that it'll all be taken away. As Archangel Michael says, some things will be in an instant and other things will be over time. But with the solar activity, just keep trusting that God is working through the sun. God is working through us and to connect. I shared those four videos on the Penny Miracles. Because I wanted to people to really see that if you could take a penny, put it to the wall, bring in God's presence, and the penny suddenly sticks because of that, then what we could do to harness that energy, we can put it on our own bodies, right? Bring God into our own bodies, into our loved ones' bodies, into all children's bodies, into the whole world, into 
all of life. We have the power, we are being given the power through our divine authority, which we're gonna talk about more in a moment. As I, as I mentioned in the other videos, I've had supernatural healings by calling in God's presence and commanding with my divine authority that things shift. I've experienced it myself. I continue to sense. Um, I've been led to places where, uh, you know, literally I hear lead now and I know just where to go. Some of you who follow my work know this, that for years I get messages, I go there and then something amazing happens. Well, this one day, and this is what really started it for me, is um, I was guided to go, I knew just where to go, uh, this boardwalk that led to a dock. And um, I'm on the walk, I was thinking of my local client and there she is when I get to the dock and I remind her about this powerful prayer that we're gonna do. And this older lady on the other side of the dock comes over and she overhears Says, she said she overheard everything and would, would I pray for her? And I said, absolutely. But I said, can we all pray together? Can we all pray together? And we did, and it was so powerful and she left feeling so much better. My client had seen her since I haven't, but things have really shifted for her. So after that, after that, I just drove a couple blocks, a road I don't normally take, and there I see my local friend who had just got in from out of town. And and then she needed some prayer, so we prayed together. It was such a powerful day, and ever since then, it put this into motion. Again, being led to that dock where I met, I don't know, a couple weeks later, I can't remember, but there was this lady who, um, she, you know, her son was having a transplant and I said, can I pray for you? And she was with her sister and all three of us prayed together. So powerful. When two or more are gathered, I am there, he says, right? So all these things have, have really inspired me and I hope you have your own inspiration or this inspires you too, that we get out and pray more. Um, Again, some things are instantaneous and some things take time. Uh, sometimes God is teaching us something. If I, if God just healed something, maybe there's a lesson. I know there's lessons I'm learning that why I'm not healed of a certain thing. I, there's something I need to learn first. God is mysterious. We have to trust God. And often I get it. I get why some things happen immediately and some things don't. The bottom line is having persistence and relentless faith. It will pay in your life, in your lot, lives of those you love. Be persistent, don't ever give up. Don't ever, ever give up. That is part of our test. We're being tested. We're being tested regarding our faith in God. You know, for, uh, since I was 17, actually, I wore glasses, like, all the time. I had to wear them all the time, pretty much, to read, to drive, everything. You know, astigmatism uh, needed correction. And all my life, and here at my age, you know, just a few years ago, I just stopped using the glasses when I could, when it was safe, like I wasn't driving or anything. And just over time, like, my eyes healed. I can see clearly now. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, I don't, I even pass my driver's test. I don't have to wear glasses when I drive. The only time I wear glasses is if I drive a distance. You know, if it's local, I don't need them. But if my eyes, I think my eyes might get tired, I might wear glasses. But I don't legally need to. I mean, how did that happen? You know? So anything can happen. God can do anything. Please keep that in mind. As you probably know, I'm talking to everyone, you know, I'm not talking down to anyone. Okay, we're all the same. I'm just sharing my perspective. So um, we're going to, in a moment, start to pray. And I use the phrase, in God and Yeshua's name, 
You use the phrase, you, you wish. That's just my way. There are many paths to God. Some of us go to church, some of us don't. Some of us find it in nature. Some of us just find it at home sitting, connecting to our hearts, we find God. There's no right or wrong way and we need to respect and unify, even with people that practice being with God in different ways. We have to unify now. We have to respect our different ways and find common ground, which is our love for God, our trust in God. So that's just really important now. We have so much division. So um, first I wanna call Archangel Michael for full and complete protection while we pray and always. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for completely protecting everyone watching whether now or in days, weeks, months, or years ahead, no matter where, when you're listening to this video, know that your prayers are heard. Everyone just take a deep breath and let all the worries and thoughts and stress and anxiety just go right now. Bring our focus on God. In God and Yeshua's name, I command with my divine authority that we are healed, starting with our auric field, being completely clear and full of light. Our chakras all aligned. Every muscle, tissue, organ, cell completely healed. Our, our pineal glands healed. So key to our spiritual lives and our DNA that has literally been under attack to be healed completely and upgraded in God and Yeshua's name, amen. That all our systems, our digestive, circu circulatory, Our lymphatic symptoms are completely flowing and clear and normal in God and Yeshua's name. And just scanning through your body now, call out anywhere you want healing, any disease, any beginnings of potential dis-ease, anything. Go through your body now and command with your divine authority that you be healed from it now. Anything that we're not aware of to be healed now. Dear God, I command for our emotional hearts to be healed. The evil has created division on all levels of relationship, in love relationships, in family relationships, so much divide. This is all from evil sources. So first I decree in the name of God and Yeshua that all dark spirits, entities, attachments, anything, any dark entities leaving our bodies now, leaving our auric fields, anywhere they may reside within to leave now. I command with my divine authority for them to leave now and healing of those areas take its place with light taking its place now. In God and Yeshua's name, amen. God, heal all the ways that we've been under attack. The sacred mother-child bond, especially under attack. The sacred father-child bond under attack. The, sacred, the sacredness of our humanity, of our gender even, all this gender confusion forced onto the children to cease, cease now. 
to cease now and to awaken to this horrific woke agenda, to stop adding to it, to stop being so confused by it, to stop this incessant normalization of pedophilia, to stop now. It is not normal. In God and Yeshua's name, I command with my divine authority for divine intervention for all children on the earth, all children to be protected from such evil, for parents and grandparents to awaken to what is going on in so many schools, the indoctrination, the, the sexual indoctrination, the gender confusion, the, the mass, the jabs, all of it needs to stop now in God and Yeshua's name. I command for divine intervention now. The jab agenda must stop now for everyone in God and Yeshua's name. The truth is out there for those willing to see. God, help us to see the gaslighting, the sneaky ways that the dark evil has permeated so many lives. Help humanity to see, dear God. They, they have caused so much havoc. Help us to see, all of us to see the lies and deception so that we're, we're still learning about. Help us to see, dear God, so that we Stay with you, dear God. Walk with you and reject these ways, all of them. And that we don't ever fall for this again because they're going to try again and again and again with their new agendas. We need to say no now. In the name of God and Yeshua, I command with my divine authority that we all awaken now. And regarding the biggest crime and humanity ever, these jabs. I am talking to those who either took them or their loved ones took them. Many of us are praying for those that we love who took the jabs. We try to convince them not to, and yet they did take them. But ideally they're praying for themselves. And I ask now that anyone who did take them to talk to God about it because God can do anything. Only God can reverse this. We can detox, detox, you know, all the things that there are out there selling all these detox, which may help, but only God, I believe, you believe what you wish, but I believe only God can reverse this. We need to bring God into this 100%. So let us ask now for anyone who did take the jab and regret it, that they talk to God now, that they ask for forgiveness and claim with their divine authority that they are healed now completely and believe it. Believe it, be persistent, and that their DNA is re recovered into its God-given perfection. So I will leave you with that for a moment. And I want to pray now for those of us unjapped who are experiencing the shedding symptoms, being around those who are jabbed, let us pray in God and Yeshua's name, I command with my divine authority that those of us who are experiencing shedding symptoms, that we be completely healed, that the shedding symptoms be completely removed, that we are restored to divine perfection in God and Yeshua's name, amen, amen, amen. In God and Yeshua's name, I command with my divine authority for the healing of the earth, the healing of the water, the air, the food, the land, the animals, and all of humanity. 
and God in Yeshua's name I command for the evil to cease now to be the darkness transmuted into light now in God in Yeshua's name I command for our new earth the coming forth of our new earth that we continue to create it through our imaginations through our intentions through our thoughts etc in God in Yeshua's name amen and finally whatever I haven't covered which is so much <laughs> I ask that you pray now In God and Yeshua's name, amen, amen, amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you.